Okay, this is question 20. So here, at first glance, it looks very complicated. Okay, you have two waves with two, I mean, one wave, one progressive water wave uh, with two particles, P and Q. So P is here and Q is here, right? And then the important point here is that it is a fixed horizontal distance apart, meaning point P and point Q are fixed. Huh? Okay. In fact, if I trace out the equilibrium position, which is somewhere here, we can say that here to here, the path difference or the length difference is equal to three quarter of a lambda, right? Okay, so imagine that there is a water wave and then let's say, for example, this is the side of your pool. Ah, this is your pool. Okay, so you have a your feet is here, and then you're kicking the water up and down. So the water wave point P is fixed at this position, point Q is fixed at this position. Okay, so the 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 separation or the gap between P and Q is three lambda over four, and you're asked which graph best represents the variation with time t. So if you look at the x-axis is t, the phase difference between the oscillations of the water particle P and the water particle Q. So P and Q will not move. They will they are fixed at that position and they will not move left and right. I know that the water shape will travel, okay? But the particles P and Q itself will not move. So to help you visualize better what I'm talking about, okay? P is at the peak and Q is at the equilibrium position. Okay, I'm going to replicate this on this simulation. Okay, so if you look at this simulation, this is particle P, red color is particle P, blue color is particle Q. I press play. Yeah. So the wave is obviously traveling from left to right. Okay, and if you look at particle A and B, their relationship is fixed because particle A doesn't move from left to right. Particle B is fixed here. It's water wave or it's a transverse wave. So particle A and B will move up and down. And the phase difference between them is fixed at 270 because the distance between them from here to here is three quarters of a wavelength. Okay? So in this case, this means no matter how long the time passes, the phase difference is fixed. The answer is if you want to, this is 270 degree. Okay? Because 3 lambda over 4 is equivalent to 270 degree. One full cycle is equiv equivalent to 360. Okay? So 3 quarter of a cycle is equivalent to 270. Nice and easy. Why are they asking you this question? Because they're trying to jabate you. Don't be jabated. Hold on to your physics concept.